Hello guys, this is 3ds Max news by the month of July and we will cover the news around 3ds Max. To start we have Corona Renderer 7 has launched. This new version comes with a total new physical material with better compatibility with other softwares and workflows, 35 built-in physical material presets, improvement on the sky model, improvements on 2.5 displacement, faster rendering and faster opening of scenes and a lot of different things. Polydamage is a script by Polydesign to create imperfections in your mesh and has been updated to version 1.5. On this new version we have relative settings, multi-element, object support, option to add ships, fine details, improvement stability and others. The script costs $49. Smooth Bridge has been updated to 2.1. It's done by KM3D and allows to create bridges between two open edge loops between different edge counts. The new version comes with a new joining algorithm that is much better and it costs 35 euros. Chaos Cosmos is the library that comes with V-Ray, that is totally free, and has been updated with 200 new models. Now the library with these new models surpasses the 1000 assets in total. The new models comes from Trinity Animation, 3D People and XFrog. Sigar Jader XS Material Presets 3 has launched. It's a collection of plugins and materials for 3ds Max. It comes with F-Storm compatible materials and lab scenes. Approximately 900 new redesigned materials for Corona and V-Ray with new and improved textures. It costs 60 euros. As you know, some months ago Maxon purchased Redshift and now with this announcement comes that from August 30, Redshift will stop the sale of perpetual license and only will be available through monthly or annual rental. You will be able to find more information on the Maxon uh, webpage. Remember that all these links you have it below in the description. Hot for Max was the popular Houdini Ocean Toolkit created originally by Perpixel has been updated with support for Max 2022 and it's available for free on GitHub. Polygon Flow announced that GraphN Beta is now available. GraphN aims to be an artist-friendly framework for creating new tools without needing to code, using a visual nodal interface oriented to artists, using basically high-level nodes. The beta right now is available for Maya and Unreal Engine 5 with plans to support Unreal 4, 3ds Max and Blender in the future. The cost of GraphN is $8 a month. A new plugin in development for 3ds Max is called UV Reactor. This is a complete new plugin and it's really interesting. It's a UV editor extension containing non filters from other DCC packages and standalone UV applications. So instead of using the ungrab UV WB modifier that we are using in 3ds Max, you can edit UVs on the fly with this plugin. You can see the first prototype of this tool in development on the videos on the background, and more information is on the Discord channel of the developer. Let's go with free training for 3ds Max. Aaron Ross created a complete tutorial for beginners oriented to product visualization with 3ds Max using Arnold a Renderer Engine. On Autodesk 3ds Max Learning Channel, you have 15 videos covering importing a CAD model, scene layout, Arnold render settings, setup, material creation, UV map, and way more. They are all free in YouTube, check it out. If you need even more Arnold tutorials, you have a new on Arnold Renderer YouTube channel that cover in a very short time how to use Arnold Renderer to line up this children bedroom interior scene using mostly Arnold Render View and Light Groups. If your thing is V-Ray, Automotive CGI put together a complete tutorial in 3ds Max to line with V-Ray Renderer a car interior. Netflix adding YouTube a making of for Love, Death and Robot, the Atom Shot. The French studio Unit Image will cover some technical details and you can see that they use 3ds Max for creating these huge and amazing environments together with Houdini with some simulation. Video is in French but you can have subtitles. Ooh la la, mes amis, très bon travail ici. Some self-publicity, I add a playlist covering a dono tutorial in 3ds Max that you can see on my channel. For videos so far on the playlist covering how to do a procedural donut in 3ds Max, covering some OSL basics and a lot of modifiers. And from Donuts to the father of the 3D Donut revolution, Blender Guru, created a complete render comparison with different renderers, trying to discover which one is the fastest. You can see in the comparison Arnold, Cycles, Corona, V-Ray, Octane, 
E-Cycles, Redshift and LuxCore, they are put to the test on different areas comparing render times and quality on different areas, like volumetrics, interiors, exteriors, GI, etc. Quite interesting. Now, this is the end of July, means that August is approaching, and in August we have Seacraft 2021, that this year, one more time, will be an online event. Autodesk has different talks, and on Tuesday, August 10, we have a making of by the 3ds Max artist Thomas Berg, where he will cover his incredible work handling multiple visual effects tasks on Viking series using 3ds Max. Remember, during Seagraph, normally we have new... Uh, new versions of software, so it's possible that we have a new Arnold, normally happens around Seagraph, so check it out because we can have some different news around these dates. And with that we cover July, that normally it's kind of like a light, uh, it's a light month because people want to be in holidays, but we still have some different new stuff in 3ds Max, and here I am to cover all of them, so thank you if you made it until this point, I hope that you enjoy your holidays guys, and as always, give a comment, give a like, share it with your friends, and thanks a lot to all my patrons that make these videos possible, thank you, thank you a lot guys, and see you soon, bye!